Hey, Calvary Plymouth. Hi. Welcome to today's Daily Devo, Psalm chapter 27. Let's look at verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. We've all gone through it. You've been in that tough time where it feels like everything's against you. You don't know where to go, what to do, and you just want to run and hide. And David says that he is going to go to the tabernacle of the Lord and spend time with, the, with God hiding. Yeah, it's amazing too that um, it just says hiding in his pavilion or his tabernacle. And, and for us as New Testament believers, the way we can hide in the Lord is literally to draw close to him in our relationship with him. Um, it's not some, we don't have to go to a church building. We don't have to go to a cathedral. We don't have to go to a certain place. It's just being alone with the Lord. Um, and when he says to hide here, it's interesting because we often think of little kids that go and hide and they hide away and they tuck down and cower down so nobody can see them. But when David goes and he hides in the Lord, he doesn't do that. He does something very interesting. Yeah, look at verse 6. He says, And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. So in David's hiding, the Lord kind of takes his head and lifts him up. Look at me, David. I love you. Just the assurance that God's going to make everything okay. And David chooses to praise the Lord. Maybe that's something we all should do today. No matter where we're at and what we're doing, if we're down, frustrated, we don't know what's happening with life in this world, maybe we should decide to choose to praise the Lord. So Father, we thank you, Lord, that we know we all go through really tough times and it's just part of life. But Lord, we want to be able to run and hide to you, and you have given us that opportunity to do that. We just have to choose to do that. And then, Lord, while we're there, as you lift us up and, and you restore our soul, so to speak, Lord, as David writes in another psalm, Lord, that we would choose to praise you and honor you for who you are and to look at things with your perspective, with your guidance, and as you lead us and direct us in life. So, Lord, we love you and we thank you for that. Lord, what a burden off of our shoulders to be able to go and lay those things at your feet. So thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. See you tomorrow. See ya.